Hi everybody, I'm Edita Sitar from Laundry Basket Quilts. Welcome to Quilting Window Live. I am so happy you are here. And you know, I cannot tell you how excited I am. I overheard it this morning. Some of the girls at the customer service were talking because you guys are calling in just to check in to make sure that the live show is happening. And there was a comment that we're creating a little fun community. And that's exactly what I want for us. I am so thankful for you. I'm so glad you're coming here and visit with me every Friday. And we're creating a little quilting community of laundry basket quilts fans and just quilting fans. If you wanted to know what's new on our website, if you want to know what I'm playing with, what projects I'm doing, join us in every Friday for our live show, just like you're doing right now. And we're going to have so, so, so much fun. So today, I know my heart is skipping a beat already because we're prepping for Valentine's and I love Valentine's. Uh, it's one of my favorite holidays because I love uh, treating my friends or uh, my spouse for nice projects and it's a win-win. I get to play with fabric and he gets to get a quilt. So I hope you are, oh, maybe a pillow this year. <clears throat> he has been very special this year, but maybe a pillow, it's all that he's gonna get this year. <laughs> but uh, I wanna show you some of the projects that we have. And I pulled out some of our laundry basket classics, stuff that we do it over and over that I know you as our customers, love it you love it in the original fabrics but you also always look forward to see how am i gonna change those classics into those new collections and what's happy uh, uh, uh happen what's new and exciting so we're gonna talk about valentine's projects today we are gonna talk about our, our quilt alone and what a start to a beautiful quilt alone you don't know what i'm talking about you you have not started yet oh my gosh on Wednesday, we launched on our blog a brand new quilt alone. It's from our Season in Blue book. Every month, we're going to meet up one time, first Wednesday of the month, and we're going to be making one or two or five blocks from one of the quilts from the book called Seasons in Blue. So this month, we chose two houses from Winter Village, what it's part of that book. Let me show you. So Winter Village quilt is this quilt right here. It's such a beautiful quilt. And it's another one of Laundry Basket Classics. So look at this. And what I did is I asked you to make this block and I asked you to please make this block right here. No sashings, no sky, nothing else because I have a different setting for the whole quilt. So what we're going to do is we're going to do this for uh, 12 months. We're going to meet up once a month. We're going to take parts of quilts from different quilts, from Seasons in Blue, some blocks, some sashing. I'm not giving you all away because I want you to have a nice surprise. We're going to be making those units and then we're going to be putting them beautifully together into a gorgeous quilt and our last month I'm gonna show you applique to add some stuff to it and then finishing pieces like the border and I noticed on Wednesday when we launched the blog the first blog there was a lot of girls and guys that were excited about it and you guys want to know about the borders so yes there will be border on the quilt. There is a left and a right border. And so all that you need, it's a one yard of fabric for the border. Then another question for the quilt alone was how much backing do you need? You're going to need four yards of backing of your choice. And one more time, I want to go over bundles that we're working from. So uh, number one, um, I'm coloring the quilt that it's the digital quilt that I'm showing to you on the website on our blog is done with our um, um, blue escape collection it's our brand new collection that we just got it a few months ago it's the most uh, one that you guys love it we talked about it when I first started getting the collection a long time that we're going to be doing this together and this is what I kind of narrowed down that this is the collection I'm going to color with the quilt 
I'm using all different scrubs and this is what I recommend to uh, some of you so you can choose blue escape bundle if you would like to fat quarter bundle you're gonna need additional lights for the backgrounds so winter blues are great for additional backgrounds um, we also have if you uh, don't want the bundle you can just get winter lights and winter blues that's a good startup because it gives you a color options what it's dark what it's light and those are made from our favorite collection in the bundle you have uh, three and a half yards I would like you to have just about three and a half to four yards four yards I will feel very comfortable with it because if you want to fussy cut something then you can do that and also if you're getting a bundle and there is not enough Oh, tap it into your stash add those to it use this bundle as your inspiration then we created two brand new bundles and those are five yard bundles so they have yard more than you need it and those are our beautiful brand new uh, bundle uh, this is blue escape uh, fat quarter bundles but we created two beautiful new bundle called glacier and geyser glacier and geyser and i have uh geyser right here now notice i have geyser right here so it's very similar to our blue escape bundle so for anybody that uh want to like a little bit more scrappy don't stick with just the collection you can use the uh geyser bundle if you want it a little bit more organized use our blue escape bundle so those are just some of the bundles we also have shown it on the website uh a a red and light option for the quilt and that's done with our strawberry and cream and it is so beautiful so maybe if you wanted to you can do your quilt in blue and red this year but whatever you're doing please please don't forget tag us on it tag us tell us you're making the quilt and by the way today sometimes on our social media we're gonna announce the winner because we had asked uh ask you if you're doing the season in blue and we're gonna announce the winner and see if you are the winner of our uh, beautiful bundle so that's something from instagram but if you're posting on instagram make sure you tag us a season in blue uh hashtag so all small letter one word a season in blue there's already a bunch of people that started it thank you thank you thank you for doing that i'm so excited because i want to watch your progress this is going to be a whole year of playing together with blue and white fabrics with red and white fabrics so i'm excited to see how your project's going to come up sometimes like i said we're going to make just one block sometimes maybe we make up to five blocks from one of the quilts so I'm not telling you which one is yet. Don't has uh, don't be afraid. We will be having fun. This is nice and easy. The quilt layout is super beautiful. Little bit applique, but I will give a second option to anybody that don't want to do applique. Don't worry, I got this. This is going to be fun. And just one more time for the borders because this was the most question that was asked. So for the borders, if you would like to for the red option we still have this beautiful piece of fabric 9848-LR unfortunately the blue option have sold out so go visit other store there's a lot of quilting stores that still have the blue and light option of this fabric hold on one second i got to get my card closer to me so i can put the fabric in so if you wanted to you can um uh, use the if you can if you did not buy the stars don't worry because actually my quilt i did it with this beautiful snowflakes and it is stunning and we do have this one on a website this one is 35 uh 356-bn i'm reading upside down why do i do this to myself 356 bn and it's a beautiful snowflake fabric and this is the one i use on the quilt on the borders there is two borders like i say left and the right don't worry about the rest the layout is incredible this is gonna be amazing you're gonna have fun i know i know i know and speaking of having fun and um valentine's 
you're probably starting thinking about some gifts, some things that you can make for someone. Like I said, a small pillow, just like this. And I'm gonna be showing some of the pillows that I'm working on it. Remember last week I showed you my uh, pillow that I'm working on it, that it's made with this pattern, except I use a linen texture charm pack. And I'm also making one from seam stretch charm pack. It's so, so cute. You are going to love when you see the pillow. So this is the project that I'm doing for sure. This comes from our Lovebird Trio pattern. It's one of the projects. There are three pillows in it. This one seemed to be the most popular one because it's done with one charm pack. You have 16 hearts. And notice in a charm pack, you have 40 uh uh, two pieces of fabric. So 16 plus 16 is only uh, 32. So you have extra option. If you get a charm pack, you can use a heart for the front and heart for the back and you have a beautiful, beautiful design. So charm packs are great for this. Oh, you can go ahead and get one, one of our kits. And heart to heart uh, kit is available on our website exactly the same colors that I have right here in this beautiful beautiful project so below may be one of the options that you're thinking about it so uh, heart to heart kit nice lovely uh, pattern you can make the project or you can give it to somebody as a gift so that's a great option too another lovely project and I know you already are excited about it because I'm wearing one of those a good gift for the uh, for Valentine's maybe treat someone for a laundry basket t-shirt and I don't know if you guys know but we do have beautiful laundry basket t-shirt like the one I'm wearing that is this one right here it comes in variety of sizes we have it all and it has our logo right on the front of it it's so nice so soft it's a lovely call uh, cotton with a little bit polyester mix it's 50 50 what it's great because you know what I wash my t-shirt over and over and over and it's not straight so it's really really nice so that's maybe a good option for you guys I would love that for you or you maybe want something more generic and we have those two beautiful t-shirt called inspire and those are so inspire and those are also wonderful for any quilters crafters or anyone so t-shirts are always a nice little gift if you wanted to do that like I told you pillows small projects quick to do it that would be great I have two other pillows front of me and both of them are pre-cut pieces and both of them are applique and one of those pillows I have it right here this one is a uh, hearts come uh hearts content pillow from our pillow talk book so we had a beautiful project from there and i have more wonderful projects that i'm going to be showing you in next two to three weeks remember um this next Friday, definitely we're going to have a live show, but then following Friday, yes, we, yeah, next Friday we have a live show. The following Friday, we're not here. We're going to be at the Road to California. I may be stream live from Road to California, just so you see the show and see all the quilts and the exhibits. So stay tuned anyway. I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to see if we can stream live from the show, because in case you cannot come to the show, you can come see our booth. I will take you around with my phone. Yes. We actually had a quick question about Road to California. Do they just go there and they're able to you can purchase tickets when you get there but then also I know there are some options before if you would like to there's a lot of amazing classes I'm not teaching a class this year but I have a presentation that I hope I see all my friends at that presentation not only because I love you to come and see me and celebrate the quilts but i don't know if you guys know but during road to california it's my birthday weekend too so i hope you stop by and say hi to me i love you to do that so um and i'm such a like the older i get the more i love to celebrate my birthday so there i am that's that's how i roll uh, but 
if you wanted to stop by visit us and come to that presentation that i'm doing i'm gonna do a really cool presentation and our exhibit it's amazing it's gonna have a lot of beautiful blue and white quilts it will inspire you for that season in blue uh beautiful quilt alone that we have but this is uh, this pillow is made with this kit right here from the book called Pillow Talk and everything is included in that little kit uh, for the front of the uh, pillow. You're going to need the backing and all the binding finishing pieces so just get half yard cuts and you should be good to go with that one or maybe you have some half yard cuts at home. So those are just wonderful. But let's go back for one minute for our um, Winter Village quilt that we started our season in blue uh, quilt alone. So it was a huge success. So many thousands of you have logged in to look at the blocks and work on the blocks with us. We have video that we have linked to it. This video was already done previously from one of our earlier quilt along so i didn't want to retape the same video but i linked it exactly the spot that you needed and so many of you got excited about the winter village you loved the big quilt just like i have it right here i'm gonna show you again this quilt you loved 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 this one but so many of you guys have get excited also about the little version of that quilt because remember two years ago when we did a quilt alone for winter village we did both sizes and i showed you how to size down your blocks so if you want that pattern if you want this direction you have to go and watch the blogs on our youtube channel i do not have physical pattern at this moment maybe later on we will do a small pattern for that smaller quilt but at this moment the only way how you can get those recipe is watching our youtube channel watching the video writing things down and learning how to size a big block to a small one i showed it multiple times so many of you got excited about it and don't have a book but wanted to do the winter village the pattern is also available as individual patterns so you can get the pattern just like this it has all these beautiful pages applique everything is included and yes 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 to all my fans we do have kits so if you want a kit we have it you can go to our website get a kit for this beautiful quilt it's all nice scrap it's really really nice it calls winter village that kit is for the larger quilt the winter village quilt the quilt is 53 by 66 inches so that is the winter village quilt but back into valentine stuff yes i'm so excited because i have all this beautiful red and white uh, patterns right on my table strawberry and cream would be the bundle that you can work from we have fat quarter bundles we have fat aid bundles from strawberry cream we have the most amazing jelly rolls jelly rolls and those jelly rolls oh there would be a heaven in this pattern and this pattern calls be mine it was our new jelly roll pattern last year for um valentine's look at how cute it is so that is that quilt that hangs right here so that's a really good option for jelly roll now another favorite is our cranberry chain that has been a staple and classic for laundry basket quilts for a long long time and cranberry chain there are uh, multiple sizes of the quilt in the pattern so you can go small medium large any size you want to it's right in it and this one hangs right here i have a scrappy version right here but you can do it more organized if you want a cranberry chain kit we do have those gorgeous kits and they are just beautiful look at this look at this kit isn't that stunning i just love it and this one have some fabrics from our sweet 16 all fun oh this is such a beautiful kit sweet 16 low sweetheart collection mix of our cloud nine this one is gorgeous so if you want a cranberry chain and it's a good 
beginner quilt. So if you want to, or somebody that wants to just simple fun project and I do have a YouTube video of how to make this project so you can also go cranberry chain find a video stitch you be in love with the project and somebody who received the quilt is going to be in love with you because that quilt is beautiful back to our strawberry and cream we have gorgeous pre-cut bundles this is our layer cake and we also have charm packs and remember i told you charm packs are perfect for small projects so charm pack like this would be great for a pillow if you wanted to match your cranberry chain uh, quilt so layer cake charm packs and don't forget we have a lot of nice free patterns on our website and you can just get a one layer cake a free pattern and create something amazing so those are the pre-cuts so we have fat quarter bundles once again i just want to go over them i've been asked not to go too fast that you guys sometimes miss those beautiful bundles look at the selection of reds pinks beautiful tops and lights isn't that stunning oh i love this fabric i had such a blast designing this collection and this uh designs are some of them are similar to our uh, blue escape so sometimes when i design a collection i like to show it in two different colors and guess what nothing nothing stop you from grabbing blue escape and one of our beautiful strawberry uh, and cream and combine them for a beautiful for you know four of july or patriotic quilt so that way the designs are really nicely mixed and match not only you have that accent of color of blue and red but also similar designs through the fabrics what it makes a really beautiful quilt so that is a lovely lovely combination so we have fat quarter bundles I love Fat 8. Uh, they are such a good price, reasonable price. You get a nice amount of fabric for a really nice medium sized quilt so you can create something fun and just test the water. The pieces are not too small but not too big. You can use them all up for one quilt and create something lovely. And I always lined up the bundles that are shades from dark to light so that way it looks pleasant to your eye but also it start giving you idea how quickly you can not only do the light to dark contrast but maybe shade something down like i did in some of the hearts i use some of the fabric and start shading it down and just combine them so this is a great bundle to play and just get a little taste of that collection and like i said we also have gorgeous jelly roll in a jelly roll on average you have 40 strips and the 40 strips some of them repeat because in the collection sometimes there are 26 pieces 28 pieces 32 pieces so some of the pieces repeat in jelly roll and of course also in charm packs and layer cakes because in charm packs you have 42 in layer cakes 42 pieces so when you start looking through you maybe have two of the same piece because we repeat it because collection only have 28 to 32 pieces or 26 pieces so it varies so back to the project we talk about cranberry chain don't let me be distracted with those beautiful fabrics i already showed you cranberry chain and i showed you this gorgeous project called be mine and we did a live sewing of the heart last year so go back look at that video so much fun so easy another lovely project and this is completely applique called sew in love pillow those silhouettes are so nice lined up in a beautiful heart design and we do have kits for that one if they're sold out do not worry we are restocking right now and what i love about this project is that we just got the most beautiful background and look at the little hearts right on it isn't that gorgeous and this background is 498-le 498-LE from strawberry and cream and now you can use this as your background to applique all these pieces and you're not only going to be in so in love with the pillow but you're going to be so in love with that background that you're going to use it's nice it's light it's really pretty beautiful I love the feel of it and one more time do you know I don't think enough Endover. 
I am so in love with my fabrics because they're soft, they're beautiful. The color is just spectacular. So thank you, thank you, thank you, Andover, for producing the most incredible fabrics for me and you guys so you could enjoy them with me. I just absolutely love, love the quality of fabric and I cannot wait for you guys to see all the amazing things that I have been working with um, uh, and over on all new brand new collection what's coming up is gonna be amazing and speaking of new collection some of you have been um uh, uh, just so excited about our quilt alone and have been talking about the borders and finishing pieces how much background I would like you to be a little patient if you want to we have the stars you can go home go ahead and purchase but I know that there are some new collections coming in and I think in 12 months you may be excited about it if I show you some new colors some new options that you can add to the quilt and what it's so spectacular with Andover and my designs that I make sure that my blues stay in a similar hues, that my red stays in a similar hues, that I have a look to my fabrics, that it's easy to mix and match collections from three years ago to today collection or pieces of fabric. So uh, just be patient, enjoy. I know for a fact that in just two months we have brand new background collection called Sea Breeze that it's coming in that I know you're going to be buying because you're going to want to add those extra backgrounds into your kit and keep working on your blocks to create this most beautiful quilts from Season in Blue book. But let's keep going on our project. So we just looked at the Sew in Love. Another stunning pattern is Cinnamon Sticks. And we do have kits for that one. It's so cute, super simple, six inch blocks. And notice how nice I use this uh, border fabric. I don't have the quilt made. It's the next one on my roster to remake it. I did this quilt long time ago with my old fabrics. So it was time to refresh and show you guys this in the brand new colors and I thought it came out so good and the fabric is so fabulous it's just beautiful so that cinnamon sticks hugs and kisses perfect for any triangle lovers so you can go ahead and start working on that one and I just want to flip it to the back Oh, this one is done with layer cakes. You need two layer cakes and then there's additional uh, two, and a, uh, two and a third of light fabric. So you can grab a two and a third of light fabric and look at layer cakes give you really nice um, collection of reds to maybe make this hugs and kisses quilts. Do you know I'm going to share with you my father-in-law that passed away last year made this quilt for me from my pattern and I just absolutely love it so I'm gonna be bringing that quilt out to share with you he did his in blue and lights and it is just beautiful so I, I tr treasure the quilts that my in-laws have made it for me so much and my mom have made it for me and I am so excited that now my son's girlfriend got into quilting. So we have another quilter in the family and she is thriving. Guys, I cannot wait to share some of the projects I have been working with her on. And she's doing such a good job. Another spectacular quilt is the Holiday Star. Not only for Christmas, but for any holidays. This design is so easy, so fun, and we do have kits for the Holiday Star. Those kits are just beautiful. So no matter what, you give it as a gift. This is the Holiday Star. You give it as a gift or you keep it for yourself, make the quilt and give the quilt to someone. This is going to be a good, fun project for you and I just showing you the packaging we're switching to canvas bags for our packaging we're trying to weave out some of the plastic bags we still have few plastic bags on some of the kids but we're working hard on switching and making sure that you guys get the canvas bags because they're easy to storage really fit nice the fabric so and we want to do our part to get uh, not so much plastic out there so those are just few of the patterns one more time holiday star hugs and kisses cinnamon sticks so in love pillow be mine and cranberry chain
Valentine's, I'm ready for you. And I have to tell you, I like small projects for Valentine's, but I also love big projects because if you put your heart to it and you keep stitching first dance, maybe the one that you wanted to make this season. And this one is so beautiful. So many amazing pieces. This is going to be one of our blocks also that we're going to do it in our quilt alarm. So make sure you join in for a little bit extra instruction. I did tape a video on first dance, so we have that done, but I am going to post the blog when we're doing this for our quilt alone. But first dance, if you want it in a red and light option, guess what? We have kids and they are just beautiful. Look at this. All the fabrics are right in it. All that you have to do, get some patience, start stitching, make those cute little nine patches and you're gonna have a just beautiful little first dance quilt what it's a double nine patch pattern as well so that is another one now i have been moving things out of the center of the quilt because i want you to be able to see this quilt on the table we do have a kit for this one it's the tulip and it's from our so in love book remember our so in love book where we have beautiful 12 nine inch blocks i did this book with fat quarter shop it's such a good project i have to tell you i think this bundle could be amazing for this quilt and there are some stunning pieces that you can use for a border in a border make sure you get enough background light background so extra hearts uh, that light fabric that I just showed you right here for your background could be amazing because you're gonna need an extra low light so that would be that one but if you don't want to make the whole quilt I have a small kit for just the quilt that it's on the table that it's the tulip so we have those kits available but I know when you start making the tulips you're gonna want the sew and love book and you're gonna want to make the medallion quilt and I love mine is hanging right here and what it's so special about this book and this quilt it comes in two options you can do the regular one without applique block or you can do it with the applique block so we added extra blocks so that way you can switch back and forth and it looks great no matter what Kimberly from Fat Quarter Shop she did the one regular one with the lock cabin block going through and I did this one with the applique a hearts branches going right through it and I love mine so 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 much we have the book we have kit for the small quilt we have bundles if you want to get the big quilt we also can help you you can call us anytime our customer service will greatly help you with choosing your borders sashings bindings backing anything you need but I would if I were to start on the big quilt I would get a bundle and I would get a, at least two yards of the light background and start working on my blocks and then start dreaming what borders I'm gonna add to it we have strawberry and cream in stock and we will have it for just a little bit longer because we love that fabric it's one of our best red and light fabrics that we ever put out so I know I'm gonna keep that in stock for a little bit so you can go ahead tap into that we have templates we have paper visit our website all of those items are listed together at laundrybasketquilts.com like I said on our website it's going to be easy and fun for you to do it and I also taped the video for those uh, beautiful flowers so if you want it you can go ahead and look at it those tulips are great you can just make a one and make a wall hanging you can make one out of bunch of little strips left over you can do it very scrappy so another fun ideas and for next few weeks I'm gonna be showing you some fun ideas from our patterns how we can recolor redo it use your scraps and have some fun for Valentine's and if you love quilting this is gonna be a blast for you if you have uh, not been excited about quilting you're gonna fall in love again with quilting if you watch us and do some of those projects with us now Erin do we have any questions yes we do perfect we actually have 
quite a few questions coming through today. I love and, that. Um, speaking of, if you're not, you know, really loving quilting right now, we had one uh, one viewer say that you know you should start a cooking YouTube channel. So I you know. love that. And guess what? Erin and myself we're getting ready for our next uh, video, YouTube live video, where we're going to be cooking. And I told you there's some recipe, other recipes that I wanted to share with you. And especially there were a ton of requests, but I want to make it a sweet cabbage with you and we have to make gawompki, what it's piggies in a blankie. It's this most delicious uh, ground turkey, ground beef. I'm going to tell you how I do it. And then you wrap it, uh, mix it with rice, veggies, wrap it in a beautiful blanket of uh, fresh cabbage and then steam it in a pot, cook it. And I tell you, last for days because you keep going back to that pot. And usually piggies are better next day because they're just soaked the beautiful juice of tomato sauce that we're gonna make and put it into it so that's some of the recipes that I'm playing with it I'm gonna share with you a lot of those and like I said we want to go through that cooking book um, you know anything that I forgot we're gonna refresh it and we're gonna do it together it's a deal so let's cook again it's it's definitely piggy or sweet cabbage uh, we're gonna do that for our next show well I can't wait um, yeah, me too. We're going to have a party <laughs> afterwards again. I will say our most asked question today is what is that stunning quilt behind you on the wall? Oh, thank you guys for asking that. Uh, this is another amazing project for our uh, Valentine's. This one calls Honeymoon. And uh, this one is made with sweet, uh, with low sweetheart collection. It is so much fun. I know you're gonna say, no, it's not easy. It's not very difficult, believe me. We just have to pin it and match points and you will be able to do it. And it's gonna be one of our next videos that I'm going to launch. So uh, also this design calls New York Beauty. Uh, I named this quilt a, a honeymoon because we have a New York Beauty that it's a larger block and this one is a smaller block. We have two patterns that I'll have this design in it. So New York Beauty design, it's a larger block in its four blocks for one quilt. This one has nine blocks and there are smaller pieces and I can't wait to share with you. And do you know why New York Beauty and a honeymoon? Because that's where Michael and me went on honeymoon after a wedding. We went for one day to New York. That was our honeymoon. And guess what guys? In just a few weeks, Michael and me are gonna celebrate 30 wedding anniversary. Can you imagine? So that one day in New York honeymoon lasts for 30 years. <laughs> is that the key? Only one day honeymoon? <laughs> yeah, I, probably. That's what it is. <laughs> now I'm just teasing. This is so exciting. So when I made mm. this quilt, I loved it. And I just finished one with just scraps. And uh, I can't wait to show you. And I used the linen. Uh, like a, a linen look, like linen texture fabric. So it's like a linen look to the background. It is so beautiful. And a lot of the fabrics that I used are like different scraps. And I don't know that you guys know that we have fabric called adds and ends. So I'm not only fabric designer, but I am fabric lover. I love fabric. So many times I buy fabrics for our studio. If there's something super exciting and nice out there, I do it. And recently I purchased for our studio few pieces, some from Free Spirit, some from Hoffman's. So there's all different pieces. And I just want to tell you about them. Look at those. Those are just few, just few. We have a whole section called Add and Ends. And I'm only bringing them up to your attention because guess what? Add and Ends, we have a big sale this weekend on our Add and, Add and Ends fabric, 20% off. So if you want a, something colorful something crazy and i use some of those fabrics in my new new york beauty quilt so some scraps you can either go and get bundles we have bundles made from them the co color wheel bundles if you want to collect some of them but if you need a yardage you need it you have been looking for this piece because it's a beautiful border piece oh you want some gorgeous solids from um this is 
uh, Ruby Star Society. Those are beautiful, beautiful solids with just a little sprinkle of uh, gold and other colors on it. We have some of those and they're going to be just for the weekend on sale, 20% off. So you can start up your year if you want something. If you have missed it, you need it for a backing, you want something colorful. Yes, I know you want me to show you all of them. I brought, I grabbed it so many of them because guess what? When I went back there, I was like, okay, I need more of this. I need more. I need, I need, I need, I need. And I end up with this huge stack of all the ones that I need, need, need. So if you guys need it too, 20% off. And all that you have to do is use code fabrics, F A B R I C fabric, and just uh, put that in and you're gonna get extra 20% on any of those odd and ends. So uh, go there, enjoy it, enjoy it, enjoy it. On the table, before Erin asked me another question, I wanna just bring to your attention, if you wanna give somebody a nice small gift, giving them a little spool of threads would be great. We have gorgeous So Daisy, our little flowers in red, and pink so you can also I don't have them on a table because I pick them I walk around with them and I left them on my office table but so daisy are great as a little gift those are the little flowers that you put on the top and the bottom of your spools we're gonna talk more about it I don't know if you know it but we have yarn we have beautiful yarn we have two different yarns we have this cascade yarn that it's just perfect for needle punch and I'm gonna show you a really cute project next few days uh, that it's done with needle punch I hope you're gonna get excited for that project I used our beautiful heart stencil and we have this half template what it's perfect with charm packs and this is perfect for anybody that likes hand applique because you can use this part to cut you fold your fabric in half you lay it you cut it with your rotary to cut your shape of a heart this one you roll the edges around it use a little bit of a starch iron it and then you have a heart that you can hand applique onto a background to a five inch squares so more of that i have been working on a lot of fun projects for you guys so if you want to we have those beautiful templates threads if you want to give just someone one spool the 2230 it's my favorite red it's not too bright it's not too uh, crazy but it is just that really good i call this like a uh, you know when you sometimes have your jeans and it's the stitching is done with a yellow but also sometimes you can see it with a red this one is that like a washed out really good red that will work great for some fun project if you want to add a little red detail to it especially if you want to stitch around the edges of a pillow just just enough not too strong because then it stands out too much and fights with the fabric so you have to be careful what color you're using so those are just few other things that we have it on our website Erin any other questions we actually we do have a lot today okay so let's do it quickly one quick one we had yes. you had mentioned linen texture and um, we had one gal that was wondering Lisa was wondering will there ever be another linen texture line guys we will have another linen texture, but I have to, I hope I can tell you this. Yeah, I'm telling you, we're going to have a century solids. You know, those solids fabric that are a beautiful fabric on both sides. So the next group that I have coming out would be century solids. So I cannot wait for you to see it. And when you see the project, you're going to be like, why didn't I think of this? So I've been working on so much beautiful colors, but yes, our linen texture one, two, and three will be in stock as we have it. We are going to have MOA because we're adding it to that laundry basket group uh, of linen texture. And you know, our brand new book, Color Wheel Quilts, will have a lot of beautiful quilts that are with linen texture so obviously i'm gonna want to get those fabrics for you as well so you can enjoy and have some fun with it 
Next, we had a great question from the Killams, and she said, Edita, um, is there any advantage to using fusible thread as opposed to heat and bond? Thinking of doing your pumpkin quilt and the way that you might have fused that, the pumpkins on. Uh, one, it's not fusible thread. It's a uh, fusible applique. The webbing, the fusible webbing? The applique? Yes. So um, there are a few different products that you can use for fusible applique. Lightweight heat and bound, one that under light, or steam machine to light. So all of them has pluses and minuses. I highly recommend if you're trying to start a project and you wanted to use fusible applique, please, please, please watch my YouTube video exclusive for fusible applique. If you cannot find it, email us and we give you a link to the perfect video to learn everything about fusible applique. And I talk in that video uh, a lot about what are the pluses and minuses, which fusible webbing make your quilt a little bit stiffer, which fusible webbing is easier to stitch, which fusible webbing go up your needle, and each of the fusible webbing have pluses and minuses. So there isn't a one like magical one, it is just how you work with them, how much heat you put into it, and what are your expectations. So what are you going to do with the quilt? Is it just gonna be wall hanging? Is it gonna be something you're gonna use it all the time? So please, email us or uh, just go start searching fusible applique, laundry basket quilt, fusible applique, and you will find that video. Perfect. Um, Melissa was wondering, uh, you had kind of touched on uh, your son's girlfriend being getting into quilting, and yes. she is wanting recommendations for a first-time quilt project. Um, her granddaughter wants to start to quilt. Oh, don't pick too big of a project, but uh, pick something that um, is a little bit challenging because sometimes when it's simple, it's boring. And uh, sometimes we don't set high enough marks for ourselves and then it's not interesting, you know? So what I would do for first project, I would definitely start it with either layer cake mm -hmm. or charm pack. And I have to tell you, we have thousand pyramids pattern that it's really cute and we just did it into a table runner that could be amazing for valentine's one charm packs one table runner put pieces together learn how to make half square triangles or start by just taking the charm pack and sewing it to a squares so you could do that i think starting with the charm pack getting the right rates and just begin this just learning to straight piecing uh, and uh, Andover is famous for really cutting nice charm packs that that zigzag edge, it's not too big, so it's easy to line the pieces up. And also, please tell her about watching our videos and you guys can do it together and start project together and learn uh, different techniques. Also, our mystery quilts are great for beginners because uh, takes away the fear of picking the colors, what I'm doing next, you tackling one little area at a time, one block at a time, and this year mystery quilt, oh my gosh, guys, this is gonna be epic. And I need some suggestions from you what we're gonna name the quilt. You know, we always pick up a state, so maybe you wanted to give me some suggestion, but uh, overall, our mystery quilts are great for beginners uh, quilters because we tackle one simple thing at a time, create units, then put units together into big quilts. And our Michigan quilt especially could be a good one because there are only four and a half inch blocks in that. Perfect. Well, thanks awesome. so much. Um, we had one, uh, Cheryl was asking, can you use the Montana templates for the holiday star pattern? I would have to quickly check. I'm so sorry, don't remember offhand, but I think so. I think it is the same size, uh, that low unit. So just uh, bear with me. If not, if you have, uh, if the template is bigger, you can just go ahead and tape a line on it and match it to that line. So that way you can use that same template for multiple sizes. So Montana template, definitely, there, because there were two of that, like a wedge templates, a small one and a big one and a mini one. So I believe uh, the medium one could work. If it's too small, just use the big one and put a tape line on it and you are in business. 
cut, 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 so, 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 and holiday star is born. I love that. Um, we did have a question about some of our pillows. Sarah was wondering, does the Sew in Love pillow kit come with all the fabric she needs for the pillow? Uh, yes, Sew in Love pillow kit comes with everything. What it's binding, backing, background, and back to the pillow and all the applique pieces. So that is a really good kit. You have everything in one spot, just a little bit of patience, iron your pieces, watch our video on fusible applique, stitch around or you can leave it as is. You will last for two, uh, you will last uh, up to two washes if you put that project in a wash. So uh, I would, I normally don't wash my pillows, but if you needed it, eventually it will fall off. But what I like to do is I put my quilting right over and the quilting holds the pieces as well. So let me see, look at this. This one doesn't have any stitching. No, it's the quilting. I'm gonna lay this down. It's the quilting that it's holding all the pieces in place. This doesn't have any stitching around. I just iron it and then I quilted it over. And look at, I have this pillow for at least three years now and it looks beautiful and we use it all the time and it travels to shows and we have it in a studio. No, we don't see me sleeping on it, but sometimes I lean against it and rest as I'm sitting and designing or doing something. So. No sleeping in my office. So right there, um, you can just iron it on and enjoy it as is. And I uh, just want to remind you guys, you still have a chance to sign for our block of the month. You know we have the most beautiful block of the month and uh, we have a little contest on our Instagram for our block of the month. Am I right, Erin? Yes. Yes. So that's the contest that we're going to announce it. Who won? Because I asked you to. You can still do it. We're going to announce it on later on today. You can still go ahead to our Instagram, tag your friend, repost it, share it, and you'll be uh, included in our drawing for a bundle. But we have the most beautiful block of the month this year. And uh, uh, what we have uh, is a beautiful medallion quilt made with our Primrose collection. And it is just stunning. So I'm so excited for you guys. We have told our Instagram friends that we're gonna announce the winner on our live show. And the time just flew by and I just didn't read through all the messages. And I wanted to read through them to make sure we picked the best person ever and treat them for an awesome bundle of fabric. So you can still tune in. We're gonna do a special little uh, or something and announce it so that person knows as well as everybody who won. And I will remember about that also next Friday to announce it again. But thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone who signed up. Thank you for reposting. And the most uh, amazing, Thank you for your kind comments. Mm. You know, you make my day with your kind comments and being so generous in your compliments, but just being kind to me. It's it's just, oh, this world out there sometimes gets a little rough and you have been nothing but kind to me. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you guys for that. Thank you so, so, so much. Do we have any other comments? Um, I think we just have one last question one last, for today. Yes. We are running out of time. It is, uh, Antoinette was wondering, uh, will you be releasing the sugar basket recipe as a pattern? Yes, so I'm working on that pattern. We will be releasing just the recipes on its own because a lot of you just like the recipe idea, but I'm also working, uh, I'm putting all the baskets into a pattern. So I'm hoping that I'm gonna have that done. It just shifted a little bit because block of the month is coming up and that's gonna be the first thing I have to finish. And our primrose fabrics are coming coming in next week and I'm so excited about them. So I wanna have all the projects ready, all the patterns ready as the fabrics come in and I'm working really hard on that. So I uh, can't wait for you guys to enjoy some of the beautiful patterns that we have prepared. 
Thank you. I hope you had a wonderful live show. Go visit our website at laundrybasketquilts.com. Enjoy, enjoy some of those beautiful kits and beautiful things that we have. If you have any questions, don't hesitate. Just uh, email us or call us at Laundry Basket Quilt Customer Service. And yes, don't forget, if you would like to, you can have one of those t-shirts. So go visit our website and enjoy little laundry basket merch. So I hope you guys get a t-shirt and rock that uh, fun little design that we have. I have to tell you a cute story before you go. Our staff wears those t-shirts and they wear them proud. And we have some college students that always come for the summer and the winter. And one of our college students, Nick, he wears his t-shirts proud. And he said when he went to the coffee shop with his t-shirt, he got a lot of... Uh, uh, ladies noticed him because he said laundry basket quilts and they will ask him are you into quilting so he said hey this merch is perfect so it could be perfect for you you get a lot of attention wearing it this beautiful shirt so happy quilting enjoy your day and I can't wait to see you next Friday